Oh, that is so pretty. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be doing my Ipsy unbagging. I am not going to be doing a try on this time because one, I'm already filming a review right now, and I caught my Ipsy late. I've been getting it late since we've moved back, and I don't know. I just I just felt like doing an unboxing this time. Let me know if you guys like to see me doing just an unboxing or if you guys do like to see me trying on the products that I will be keeping. This is fairly heavy this month. This is the bag. It's super cute. It is baby blue and it says dream on it. This actually reminds me of, you guys know who dream is growing up. They were Puff Daddy or P Diddy, his group that he made. That is what the lettering reminds me of. For the pamphlets that we did get, this is showing us the glam bag in collaboration with Patrick Ta. It shows you everything that comes in the box. It's an extra $30 on top of whatever service that you do have from them. It says that this is a $428 value, eight full size products. You choose three like it is now, but it is curated by celebrity makeup artists. It's all of their favorite stuff. I may or may not, I'm not quite sure. You do get it quarterly like you do with FabFitFun. The card looks like, oh, it's so cute. So it says beauty resolutions for your sign. It has Aries through Pisces on here. You guys already know that I'm in Aries. It says show off your inner fire on the outside, which honestly, when you guys are reading your horoscopes, read your big three, which is your sun, moon, and rising, but more so read your rising sign. That is like who you embrace. That is what you show off to the world. That is how people see you. I know it sounds confusing, but I feel like my rising sign resonates more to me than my sun sign. I'm gonna be done. I'm, I'm, I'm done rambling now because like I can go on with astrology for freaking ever. This is the billion dollar brows, best brow toolkit ever. So you get an eyebrow brush, tweezers, and you get scissors. This whole set here retails for $56. These scissors are stainless steel. Oh, it says the tweezers are specially coated and designed to grab the fine of hairs and an angle brush for applying powder and pomade which I already have a couple but it wouldn't hurt to have a new one I really did need a pair of new tweezers my husband already has a pair of scissors I have a pair of scissors like angled scissors that I don't like um, but I don't really like to use my husband's scissors because he uses it for his face so I'm actually really excited to get a new pair angled brush here that I'm not going to take out. It's just your basic angled brush with a spoolie and you have the angled brush. These are the scissors. They're not angled, they're straight. This is really nice quality. And then we do also have the tweezers. It's really nice. This feels really good. The red Revlon tweezers that I got from them, I have already ruined them. So yeah, I needed one really bad. The next thing we have here is by Pure Lease. This is in collaboration with Candy Johnson. As you guys know, she is a fellow YouTuber on here. She's been on here. She's like one of the OGs. This is a full size six ounce bottle of lotion. This the value is at $24. This is pretty much a body butter to go up and down. It has hydrates you, it has coconut oil and fruit extracts to rejuvenate and promote elasticity in the skin, and it smells like cream cycle. oh my god. I'm gonna open this up right now because my hands are really dry and I am going to try this out. So this is also cruelty free, and that is it. Okay, anything that Pure Lease puts out, I friggin' love. I love, love, love their stuff. Like, they never, ever disappoint. I love all of their skincare products that I have tried through Ipsy. Okay, so yeah, this is called Butter Me Orange Creamsicle Body Butter. This is huge. Okay, it's not that thick. It's a little thin, but it's not bad. I'm gonna apply this to the back of my hands. Hmm. Okay, it smells nice. It smells like orange creamsicle, but it also smells like lotion, like that basic lotion scent. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Mmm, that creamsicle scent goes away. And then it just smells like lotion. The next product we have here is by Pixie Beauty. This is the Hydrating Milky Serum. This values at $24. It is a face serum. It's a full-size product. This is packed with rose flower extract, jojoba oil, and aloe vera. The nutrient-rich serum restores dry, dehydrated skin, leaving it plump, soft, and dewy. You guys know I got dry skin like I'm aging 
my skin's aging, I need this. I have been wanting to try Pixi Beauty skincare for the longest time. I've heard that their toners are really good, and I mean, I don't know why I haven't really gotten around to purchasing it. I'm gonna try this out, and if I do end up trying this out, I will update you guys in the description box down below. So the next product we have here is by Cover FX. This is the Shimmer Veil in Celestial. This values at $28. I picked this one out. I had seen it on Ipsy a month ago or something like that and I was just like that is so pretty. Like I really really want that. This is a cream shimmer. This is not supposed to crease. It's not supposed to move around. It is supposed to be cake free, transfer free, smear free throughout the day. Use it to highlight. Use as an eyeshadow. I think that's pretty cool and it, I will swatch this because I know that I will be using this. Oh that is so Look how pretty that is. That would be really pretty as a highlighter as well. Next here, we have the Complex Culture Good Lighting Highlighter Duo in Lucid and Afterglow. I picked this one out. It values at $30. Already know that I love Complex Culture from their brushes to their makeup. I am just in love. The packaging is just simple and gorgeous. The description says that this is a luxuriously smooth and creamy powder highlighter. It goes on sheer with a wet shine finish that blends out for a perfect dewy effect. But you can use a highlighter or powder brush to apply it. It's pretty much just a highlighter and you apply it in the areas that you want to. This has ceramides and hyaluronized silk to keep your skin soft, smooth, and hydrated long after you take it off. So it's got some skincare in it, which is awesome. I've noticed that a lot of brands, they're starting to put a lot of skincare in it which is great for us people who are aging one of the shades here is really dark i don't know if it's gonna work out for me i know that the other one will but this palette is super super pretty and this is really smooth oh wow okay 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 that might work you've got the darker color here and lighter color here i have the light and dark and it actually looks lighter swatched. This is the lighter one and this is the darker one, but I'm actually going to try this on. I'm going to go in with this lighter shade here and I'm going to see how this applies. Like I said, I already have highlighter on, but you know, it's fine. That is so pretty. <laughs> that That's a highlighter, y'all. Wow, okay. Complex culture nails it again. All right guys, so now that we have gone through all the products, I am going to just do a quick sweep of whatever I tried out. First off, we have the Billion Dollar Brows, the best eyebrow toolkit ever. I'm really excited to try this out. I do need two items out of the three that I have here. I will probably just give the brow product away to someone else or it'll go into a giveaway. The scissors and the tweezers look like really, really good quality and I'm excited to have them and try them out so I don't have to use my husband's nose scissors anymore. We've got the Kenny Johnson Pure Lease Body Moisturizer. I was really excited for this. Like really, really excited for this because I love Pure Elise. I love Kenny Johnson. This does not smell like orange creamsicle. It's like it has a hint of it, but it has that, it just smells like lotion afterwards and like not like a good smell lotion. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this away because I don't really like it. I really wanted to love it though. Next we have the Pixie Hydrating Milky Serum. I'm super excited to try this one out. I'm actually really happy that they had put this in my bag because like I said, I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. So when I do try this, I will update you guys in the description box down below. The Cover FX Shimmer Veil, super excited to try this. The color is gorgeous. There's really nothing left to say about it because I'm really excited to try it, swatched it, fell in love. Like, the color is to die for. And lastly, we have the Complex Culture Highlighting Palette Duo. This highlighter right here, is intense and I am in love with it. I just love everything about Complex Culture from down to the packaging, to the quality. They always hit it out of the park and I'm never dissatisfied with anything that I get in my Ipsy. So I am really, really loving this. 
I love it. So now that we have done a quick run through, we're gonna get into the total value of the box. For the total value of the box with the five products, it comes out to $152. But because I don't like the lotion and I will be giving it away, the total value of the box comes out to $128, which I still think is really good for the products that I did get. And mind you, I only paid $25, so if you take the $25 off of that, it's $103 of extra product, and I think that's really good. I have had boxes in the past where the total value is more, but I feel like with this one, with the quality of products that I did get in here, I am satisfied with it. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If you guys do have Ipsy, please let me know what your favorite product was in your month's bag or if you guys got the same thing as I did. I am super excited to try everything out and yeah, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. The best, okay, let me just go and say what it is. Okay, complex culture, best brow tool kit ever. Hydrating Mickey, hydrating Mickey in the description, description.